When will I see you again? Park Yong Gong asks his older brother. They were reunited briefly for the first time since 1972, when Park Yang Su was abducted and taken to North Korea on a fishing boat. They're among 82 elderly South Koreans, selected from thousands to re-meet their family members in Mount Kamang, North Korea, over the weekend. Even the North Korean hostesses are caught up in the emotion. It's a rare opportunity. Families were split up in the North Korean War of the 1950s, and most don't get this chance. Those who do make the most of it. A nephew bows to his uncle, and a father tries to comfort his daughter. Don't cry. You shouldn't cry on this good day. We'll be able to meet again soon. Trust your father, so stay healthy and live well. A third of this group are over 90. At least two of them got sick and had to return home. A second group of South Koreans will be allowed up to the Diamond Mountain Resort from Sunday to Tuesday. It's such a special time because they don't have any contact with their families otherwise. People can't write emails, exchange phone calls or write letters to each other. This arrangement was only agreed to by North and South Korea a few weeks ago. The last reunion happened more than three years ago. But now this reunion is over and these Koreans had to say goodbye to each other. They know there's little chance of hearing from each other, let alone seeing each other again. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.